They never stop my messiah is poor Dear God, why do people kill each other in your name? Is it really what you want or have we lost our way? Cause it seems like religion can cause division Or people living in prisons of moral values they're given What is right and what is wrong? Am I a sinner if I don't comply with everything that Moses said or is that dumb? It is okay to ask questions, man. It is okay. But you must have an open heart to receive the truth as well. Hello friends, welcome to the PJR YouTube channel. My name is Pastor James Devalon. I have uh, ran on the channel once again and the question of the, the title of this one is Dear God. I did one earlier of, uh, of Dax. So this is another dear God and um, yeah, so <laughs> I hope you are ready for this one. You never spell God with a little G, by the way, at least the true God. Now the fake gods, you can spell them with little G, <laughs> but the true and living God, um, it is the name of title as well, is always a capital G, but nevertheless, this is amazing stuff. Let's take a listen to this. This is Ren and he's questioning. He's questioning. And I've said there's something spiritual about some of this man's music. And I know some of you who are unbelievers and atheists said there's nothing religious about this. And I answer to each his own. <laughs> All right, friends. Um, I've enjoyed this man's content. He is very gifted. Like I've said, he's a rare type, man. It's, they don't make him like this anymore. When I say they don't make him like this anymore, I'm, I'm speaking generally. So whether it is his mom or dad, or whether you're talking about God, or whether you're talking about culture, I don't care. Uh, this artist is rare. He's just, he's, he's gifted like that. All right, so we're gonna listen to this. We're gonna share some thought and perspective as well. I hope you are ready. Like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. Check out the links we have going on in this channel. There's a way to support this channel. We are trying to build back better. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right, friends, without further ado, let us now get into the heart of the message. Hello. Uh, it's Ren. I don't really know how to start this letter. Oh, fuck it. <clears throat> Is this life really what it seems? Cause lately I've been in this place between awake and dreams I know I only reach out to you when I'm feeling blue I promise I'm not using you, I'm just confused I've got some questions I would like some answers to Like is there meaning to this state of short existence? My existential thoughts, you'll hope there are cause I'm resistant To thinking that there won't be something better in the distance And God, is there an afterlife where pain is non-existent? Mm. If you're up there God, do you sit upon a throne? Or are you a humble soul wearing sandals and tattered clothes? Do you mingle with the people like an equal then on Sunday? Days, just kick back and chill and put your feet up mm. Did I really choose this life that I'm living now? Will my sins be forgiven if I speak them out? Mm. I won't lie to you God if there is a heaven I really hope I get there cause for real it sounds like heaven <laughs> Reading past the lines Yeah I just let go mm -hmm. Searching for profits My faith it is paper thin yeah. So many questions in my mind they replay like an echo. Yeah. They never stop my messiah is posting. Great. Um, nice, nice. This is uh this is different than Dear Dax, uh Dear God from Dax. Dax was questioning, uh, but he was more fervent with it, you know, so much more enthusiasm and fire and energy in his. This is more this is more the the mindset of a, an agnostic. Right, he is looking for truth. He's more open-hearted to discover what the truth is, but he's not sure. But he's going to God in the song with a lot of respect instead of just total disrespect. So there is at least a, re a belief that God does exist, but I'm confused about a number of things and I'm trying to figure it out. And I think that's not wrong. <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, faith doesn't have to be blind. There, there, there has to be evidence that is cohesive evidence that is based on the fundamental truth for what it is. And I think discovering those foundational, those key components to, to lay 
foundation for your faith is, is crucial uh, because you do not want to build on the wrong foundations. You do not want to build and, and set your foot on this, start your spiritual journey if you don't have uh, solid evidence for what you believe in. However, you will never have all your answers, all your question answers in this journey. Never. You will have a lot of them answered. You will learn along the way. Uh, but to a large degree, like I've said concerning Dak's video, you're going to have to take a leap of faith. Go. They never stop my Messiah is posting. Dear God, why do people kill each other in your name? Mm -hmm. Is it really what you want or have we lost our way? Because uh, yeah, we've lost our way. That has a lot more to do with that. And there's also spiritual pride, which is not a good thing. And you know, there's some of the religious wars that took place back then. First of all, that's not God's fault. That's man's fault. Seems like religion can cause division or people living in prisons of moral values that given. Mm. What is right and what is wrong? Am I a sinner if I don't comply with everything that Moses said or is that dumb? And why do people disguise hatred in your name? Homophobia, a history of violent wars and causing pain. Mm. High priests in the tower stacking riches. Women burnt at the stakes called witches. In the name of God, Allah, Zeus, Jesus. People claiming lives justified by your allegiance. Wow. I think it's more complex than good versus evil. I think that there's both darkness and light inside people Through different eyes a man called a terrorist Could be a freedom fighter if he's fighting for the side you're with <laughs> Reading past the line I just let go Searching for profits, my faith it is paper thin So many questions in my mind yeah. They replay like an echo mm. They never stop my messiah is porcelain you know, my wife did a really nice video on her channel. You gotta, you guys gotta go check out my wife's channel. Um, I think is um, she needs to check it out. I can put a link in the description below. But the thing is, um, it if you're looking through the lens of religion as a whole and all that stuff that came with that, <laughs> you may you will become discouraged. Um, I am so glad that I had the the privilege and I will say I give God thanks for that. I didn't go through the religiosity to discover God. I actually went directly to him. I went to him in prayer. I went directly to his word and I, I began to study. And I had the privilege to sit down with a good Bible worker who understood the gospel salvation and doctrines in ways that unfortunately many do not have an understanding of um so i i look at myself i said man i think i was really blessed to have those privileges handed over to me but i had a desire to be safe and that desire was not mine it was god's but uh what i'm saying is you better off um where's my book at you better off going directly to the source of truth to f discover God. And I will encourage you, if you happen to be a person who is looking for the truth, open the Bible, pray, and come with the right attitude. Don't go with the attitude of trying to ridicule and find reasons to make fun of the truth. Don't do that. Go with the attitude to discover and to obey. And also, don't start in the Old Testament, at least, don't tell you those yet. Go through the Gospels of Jesus. You can pick any one of them. If I would recommend, I will say, take the Gospel of John. I did the Gospel of Matthew. Friends, I am not lying to you. I sat down every day and I read one chapter in the book of Matthew. In a matter of three weeks, I was a new man. Did you understand? There was something about Jesus that captivated my thoughts and my perspective. Something about his life that changed my life. There was something about him that really was different. He wasn't like the rest of these guys that are out there. And religion didn't even mean anything to me at that point. What I saw was a savior in Christ. And what I saw in the book of Matthew, in relation to all the Messiah, mess messianic prophecies that Christ was fulfilling, it, it affirmed the fact that 
the Bible is indeed the word of God. And I will recommend that to you, that um, if you are one of those individuals who's curious to know the truth, go through the Bible. If you need help with that, let me know. I do have another channel where we spend time digging into the word. So check out that channel description in a link, link in the description below, Luke and Live Bible Studies, where we dig into the word. So if that's something you want to do, I got you. Let's keep going. They never stop my Messiah is porcelain. So is it ignorant to claim that we know what you want? And if I fast for the Sabbath, is that what you want? Or is tradition? No. Uh, um, keep the Sabbath holy and worship him today. Um, yeah, the seventh day of the week is the Sabbath. We keep the Sabbath. Uh, we are Sabbath keepers, but we're not Jews. We are Christians. I'm a seventh day Adventist. Um, the thing is, uh, fasting on the Sabbath is not, you can do it, but it's not really required. Um, you know, you know, that's kind of how they did things back then. They were feasting on the Sabbath and they were feasting on Sunday and fasting on Sabbath. So guess which one became more popular? <laughs> Sunday became more popular. And this is the reason why most Christian worship on Sunday, it really has very little to do with the biblical truth that goes behind that but we can have another discussion about that if you go to my other channel we discuss these things but the thing is um the sabbath was made for man not man for the sabbath therefore the son of man is the lord of soul of the sabbath day mark 2 27 and 28. so keep the sabbath holy is actually a good thing it's not wrong because this is through through the sabbath you have another opportunity to strengthen your relationship with jesus christ it's time to spend more quality time with Christ and those who you love and worship. If there's something wrong with that, I would say there's something wrong with your thinking. <laughs> no, there is nothing wrong with spending more time with Jesus. There is nothing wrong with setting aside a specific day, which God has ordained, the one he gave. We can't create our own. The one that God gave to rest on that day and, and worship. It's a blessing. Anyway, let's keep going. To claim that we know what you want. And if I fast for the Sabbath, is that what you want? Or is tradition just superstition, religion, the human vision just crafted out of people's ambition? Listen, exactly. I knew a girl that lost a baby before it was born. What's the purpose of that, God? What is it for? Mm. Why did my best friends die before I hit 25? Is it because there is something better in the afterlife? Mm. God, I've been feeling suicidal lately. Mental oh. health is worsening. It feels like it might break me. If you're watching, you know that I've been strong. But God, how much longer do I have to hold on? Yeah. Please just give me some solace. Yes. So that I know you've got my back. Mm -hmm. Please just give me some relief. God, is that too much to ask? No, it's not. I, I think uh, asking these questions are crucial. And if you plan on being saved, you better start asking some questions. Well done, my friend. This was amazing. That was great. Um, guys, much more could be said, but I think the man done did his thing. Listen, man, God is not afraid of your questions. He is not afraid of you. I think the issue is that some of us, um, we, we ask questions, but we don't want to know what the truth is. Kind of like, kind of like pilot's attitude. What is truth? And then he walks away. <laughs> He's like, truth was right in front of you, buddy. <laughs> but nevertheless, um, some of us, we don't want to know the answer. So I'm not addressing you. But those of you who are determined to know what the truth is, and you also have a desire to obey, you want to know what God says, and you want to follow what he says, I'm praying for you. And I think a ran in this song here is is showing you the name is showing you his heart man the man he lays it on the table he's not aggressive with it he's intentional he's asking good questions you know the truth is um all of these questions majority of them could be answered if people will take a leap of faith and i'll say it again it's like you you gotta take a leap of faith you're going to have to choose to believe with all your doubts. Some will be removed among the, along the way, but a lot of them might not be removed right away. Yeah, just letting you know. 
That's a fact. And I'm glad I did exactly that. Jesus says, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. If you know, you want to know what the truth is, get in the word. Get in the word. Get in the word. And once you get in the word to discover the truth, we this is what we are told. Sanctify them through thy word, through the truth. Thy word is truth. So, he is also full of grace and truth. I'm not sure if you realize you're getting a little Bible study here. The word was made flesh and dwell among us. And we behold his glory as the only be glory in the kind of the Father, full of grace and truth. And that's the word. That's Christ. John 6, 14, 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. What else do you want to hear? The truth is Christ. The truth is the word of God. And if you are serious about discovering what the truth is, you have to get into the word. You have to get into the word. These words are true and faithful. Much more could be said. I can I can go on and on and on and on giving you evidence and stuff. God's word is truth. Uh, his spirit is the spirit of truth. The law of God is the truth. Jesus is the truth. People are looking for the truth, man. And this is a young man who's looking for the truth. He's questioning things. He's not sure. He's got doubts. He's got fears. He's got concern. He sees sense and the results of sin and all the pain and all the suffering. There's mental health and all this stuff. And the answer is, you get into a relationship with Jesus. Uh, did you hear what I said? Relationship with Jesus. You draw closer to him and he will draw closer to you. He will cleanse your heart, purify your soul, give you the assurance of life eternal. He forgives you of your sins. And then he will teach you along the way things you might not understand right now. And it's going to be a journey. <laughs> it's going to be a journey. And that is just the way God does it. I don't have all the understanding myself, but I choose to believe because the evidence of his love is very obvious to me. Thank you so much for listening. It's been a great day. Dear God, God is not afraid of your questions, people. And he can read your heart. He knows where you are. He knows why you feel the way you do. He's not done with you yet either. He's still working on you. You know that, right? Thank you for listening. It's been a good day. A good day. Check out our links below. Like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. And I'll see you in the next video. Remember to set your eyes on him who is the author and the finisher of our faith. And his name is Jesus Christ. Get to know him. Have a good one.